In the whole country, this is the only district that has three physics buses that go to elementary schools. It doesn't exist. So there was no pattern for me to look at. And when I went online to do research, people had done full community buses, but nobody had done a school bus. It's nothing like a classroom experience. It is a hands-on, things you'd never see in an elementary classroom experience in science. That's really what it is. They come out to the bus, depending on the grade level, they have an experience with sound. It's entertainment plus science together to get kids excited about the content that they have for their final exams. They told me they were giving me retired school buses and they wanted me to convert them into physics buses. And that's really all I got. Like a CSI kind of thing? Because, you know, I can pick up the oh, dust. Yeah, that would be good. Yeah. Or have them come in. I can... We gutted the buses, made it into a lab, customized furniture, customized floor. And when they come, we actually created placemats so that when they come to the table, the lab is already set out for them. They don't have to wonder what the components are. Screen holder. The instructions are there for them on the lab, so it does feel like they're in school, but in a really cool classroom at school. I started out by teaching my two kids. I homeschooled them. Um, then I got an opportunity to teach in the classroom and I impacted maybe 150 kids a year for over a period of five years. This is thousands and thousands of kids getting the opportunity to see and touch things that they would never otherwise see and touch and the joy on their faces when they are playing science. I, I had no idea the impact it would have on me. You know, I didn't understand the impact until one day I sat in the bus and I watched the kids in the bus and I realized how powerful it is to just hand kids tools. And so I've always thought of education as the, the kid comes to you with a tool belt with no tools in it and my job is to put the tools in the tool belt. And it's so cool when you see a student leave high school or see a student leave elementary school and you see the tools that you helped to put in that tool belt. I think that's just kind of cool. I will continue to take the projects that are outside of the, the box. I think I'll continue to influence young people because that seems to be where my heart is. But if I can influence the teachers of young people and let them influence young people, that also would be meaningful work for me. That's awesome. That was what I wanted to do for the ribbon cutting, but they, they put me in some weird school where I couldn't do that. You know, when they're parked in the lot, I go, okay, that looks cool. But when you're driving in traffic and one passes you, it's really, it's, it blows my mind, you know? It blows my mind because it's like a billboard for our district. It says Seminole County Public Schools on the bus. And I watch them pass by and I go, wow. You know, that's because of the hard work that we put in, that the whole team puts in, and how many kids will it impact in the future. With the skills I have, I could be in consulting. You know, I could be in engineering, manufacturing, and making six figures. Everybody's like, you could always make six figures. But I thought to myself, do you want at the end of the day to say whose life you changed or how much money did you make? <laughs>